Well, hi girls, I've come to talk to you today. I thought we'd have a catch up on um, HPV vaccination because cervical cancer is potentially a life-threatening disease. And so it's really important that at a young age, you know about it and you know how to protect yourselves against it. HPV stands for human papillomavirus, and we're particularly looking at type 16 and 18, which are the harmful strain of the virus that can cause 70% of cervical cancer that's seen. Like, um, yeah. Did you find that, like, a hit or anything? Not really. Like, everyone's like, oh, no, it's meant to really hit. Oh, and I, just, this I think people yeah. just try and make you, oh, no, don't have it done. But, um, just make yeah. you sick me, yeah. No, the, the injection didn't really hit. It's just a little sting in your arm, and then that's it. It's over within two seconds, really. 99% of the girls that I see are very apprehensive about the actual procedure. Um, is it going to hurt? That's all they want to know. And personally, I'd say, oh, don't be scared about having the injections, because I was told by many people, don't have it, it's really, it's going to hurt. But people just say that for you to be scared, and honestly, it's nothing to be scared about. It takes over about a six-month period to get fully protected, so you have to have it in doses to get fully vaccinated. So I've had two so far. And after the first one, they're really quite relaxed about the second one and by the third it's a piece of cake no problem at all <laughs> um, you can have it when you're 12 and 13 um, and then like the outside catch-up is then 14 to 18 my mum my mum spoke to me when I was in year seven because she still want, wanted me to get it so I did and I was happy to get it because I wouldn't like to end up with cervical cancer cervical cancer is a life-threatening disease so obviously um, offering them protection against anything that's life-threatening is a really important thing it's really good at the end of the day as it's covering 70% of the risk of cervical cancer.